Some interesting Hodgkin's data uh, at this meeting, not a huge amount, but some, some quite interesting stuff. There was some, a report from the um, Italian group looking at a new second line um, combination. So they've used iphosphamide, gemcitabine, venorabine combination with some real great success. And after some efficacy data of uh, bendamustine in the relapsed uh, setting in Hodgkin's disease. They looked at looking at bendamustine, gemcitabine and venorabine together, a BGEV regimen. And they use this for patients with relapsed or refractory uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. I think that there was about 60 patients recruited into the study and they had an overall response rate of greater than um, 80% and a complete response rate of uh, in the high, you know, mid, mid to high 70s. So very well tolerated, a great toxicity profile, and had no detriment on the ability to mobilise peripheral blood preventer cells. So, so presenting a highly effective and safe second-line therapy for patients with Hodgkin's lymphoma. And the key thing about, about treating Hodgkin's disease at relapse is achieving a complete response. So you, you want a regimen that's going to have a high complete response rate because that's your best marker of success following um, high-dose chemotherapy consolidation. So it's some really interesting uh, early data and certainly a regimen that's worth um, following up. Interestingly, the um, German uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma group presented some data on managing elderly Hodgkin's lymphoma. And this is, this is a continued problem, how we, we manage uh, elderly patients with Hodgkin's because the toxicity of the chemotherapies that we have are greater in the elderly population than in the younger patient population that we, we treat. And, and we frequently find that if we are compromising on the chemotherapy that we deliver, then our outcomes in the elderly population are as less good and, and not as good as we'd like them to be. So the German study looked at the AVD um, combination, so ABVD without the bleomycin, and replaced that with lenalidomide, which has shown some activity in Hodgkin's lymphoma, and of course targets the microenvironment, which is really critical to, to the propagation of Hodgkin's. Actually what they found, unfortunately, that was that the combination was still very toxic, and um, really their higher dosing co cohorts, there were some significant toxicities and, and felt that probably this is not the right regimen to take forward in the elderly population, but I, I think an important investigation.